According to Niti Aayog, the policy think tank of Indian government, 75% household in India do not have access to drinking water at their home. 84% rural household do not have pipe water supply. 600 million people face high stress over water. Just imagine guys, the basic necessity, water. We are struggling with basic necessity. On other side, there is another crisis. It is the problem of sanitization. According to research, around 300 million people in India still practice open defecation. That's 30 crore people. Friends, just imagine the scale of the problem. And Indian government is keen on solving this basic problem of our country with various initiatives like Jal Jeevan Mission, Swachh Bharat Mission, etc. And one sector that would immensely benefit from this is piping sector in India. Hello everyone, my name is Sahil and this is my personal finance academy where I explain everything about money management in layman's language. Welcome to the 6th episode of stock comparison series where I will be taking the piping sector in India. We will start with understanding the piping sector in India and key trends. Then we will briefly discuss about major players including Estrel Polytechnic, Supreme Industry, Phenolics Industry and Prince Pipe. Finally, we will do a financial comparison of each of these four companies on market size, stock return, growth ratio, profitability ratio, debt to equity ratio and valuation ratio. Alright, let's get started. The Indian piping industry has been showing rapid growth since past several years. And the major reason for the growth in this industry is increasing demand for pipes in irrigation sector, oil and gas sector and also the real estate industry. Friends, the government of India is coming up with new projects and investment in the irrigation sector. The focus of government is on rural water management which will be fulfilled only when there will be a proper transportation of water to the end user. This is one of the major demand drivers of piping industry along with expansion of housing sector and increasing demand from oil and gas transportation. Now there are two major reasons why plastic pipes are preferred over metal pipes. First is due to its superior property which makes it robust and second due to its economical cost which makes plastic pipe favorable over metal pipes. Friends, the major driver behind the growth is government infrastructure spending, increasing construction, increasing industrial production, then rising demand from irrigation sector, replacement of aging pipeline and shift from unorganized to organized market and finally due to heavy investment by the government in irrigation, housing and sanitization with various government schemes such as Amrut that is Atal Mission for Rejuvenation and Urban Transformation and Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sichai Yojana and the recent announcement of Jal Jeevan Mission in Budget 2021. Astral Polytechnic was established in 1996 with the aim to manufacture pro-India plumbing and drainage system in the country. Astral commenced its operation about 21 years ago with a strong vision of manufacturing CPVC plumbing system in India. Today, Estrel is one of India's largest manufacturer of CPVC and PVC plumbing system used across various industries. It is present majorly into pipes with 77% contribution in sale of FI20 and rest adhesive contributes 23% in total revenue. Its products are used across plumbing system, drainage system, agriculture, industrial and electrical conduct pipe with all kind of necessary fitting. It has an extensive distribution network of 800 plus distributors and 31,000 plus dealers in piping sector and 1,300 plus distributors and 1.3 lakh plus dealers in adhesive segment. Established in 1942, Supreme Industry is one of the leading plastic product manufacturing company in India having 25 manufacturing facilities spread across the country, offering a wide and comprehensive range of plastic product in India. Company operate in various product categories including plastic piping system, cross laminated films and products, protective packaging products, industrial molded components, molded furniture, storage and material handling products, performance packaging films and composite LPG cylinder. Established in 1981, Phenolix Industries is a leading manufacturer of PVC resin and PVC pipes and fitting in India. 
Presently, PVC pipe and fitting business contributes 60% of revenue and rest 40% is contributed by PVC raisin sale. Prince Pipe is an Indian manufacturer of polymer pipes finding application across plumbing, sewage, agriculture, borewell, water storage and cable ducting. Prince Pipe has created a separate vertical by introducing niche product and technology in the trade. If you look at the market cap, Estrel Poly has a market cap of 31,000 crore. Supreme Industry has a market cap of rupees 25,000 crore. Phenolics Industry has a market cap of 7,500 crore. And Prince Pipe has a market cap of 4,400 crore. So in terms of market cap, Estrel Poly is number one. Supreme Industry is number two and it is followed with Phenolics Industry at third position and Prince Pipe at fourth position. If you look at the stock return in last five years, Estrel Poly share has zoomed from Rs. 275 in February 16 to current levels of 2100 at an unbelievable CGR of 50%. Supreme Industry share has jumped from Rs. 666 in February 16 to currently at 1990 at a CGR of 24.5%. Phenolex Industry share has jumped from Rs. 306 rupee in February 16 to currently at 620 rupees at a CGR of 15%. Prince Pipe recently had its IPO in December 19 at a price band of Rs 178. Since then, it has zoomed to the current level of 408 at an insane CGR of 94%. So in terms of return in last 5 years, Astral is number 1, followed with Supreme Industry and then Phenolex. We can't compare Prince Pipe as it has recently debuted in December 19. However, it has given bumper return since its listing. If you look at the revenue in last 5 years, Estrel Poly revenues have increased from 1,678 crore in March 16 to currently at Rs. 2,677 crore by December 20. Supreme Industry revenue have increased from Rs. 2,960 crore to currently at 5,703 crore by December 20. Phenolex Industries revenue have been stagnant from 2,843 crore in March 16 to Rs. 2,981 crore by December 20. Prince Pipe revenues have increased from 1,700 crore in March 16 to currently at 1,741 crore by December 20. As per the latest revenue figure, Supreme Industry is number 1, Phenolex Industry is number 2, Estrel Poly is at 3rd position and Prince Pipe is at number 4. In terms of revenue growth since March 16, Estrel Poly revenues have grown at a CGR of 10.3%. Supreme Industry's revenue have grown at a CGR of 14.8%. Phenolex Industries revenue have been stagnant at 1% and Prince Pipe revenue have grown at a CGR of 12.2%. So in terms of revenue growth, Supreme Industry is number 1, Prince Pipe is number 2, followed with Estrel Poly at number 3 and Phenolex Industry at number 4. If you look at the profit since March 16, Estrel Poly profits have increased from Rs 101 crore to currently at 281 by December 20. Supreme Industry profits have increased from 221 crore to currently at 645 crore by December 20. Phenolex Industries profit have increased from 254 crore to Rs 346 crore by December 20. And Prince Pipe profits have increased from Rs 30 crore to currently at 153 crore. As per the latest profit figure, Supreme Industry is number 1, Phenolex is number 2 and it is followed by Estrel Poly at number 3 and Prince Pipe at number 4. In terms of profit growth since March 16, Estrel Poly profits have grown at a CGR of 24%. Supreme Industry profits have grown at a CGR of 25.3%. Phenolex profits have grown at a CGR of 9.2%. And Prince Pipe profits have zoomed at a CGR of 40.9%. So in terms of profit growth, Prince Pipe is number 1. Supreme Industry is number 2, followed with Estrel Poly at number 3 and then Phenolex Industry at number 4. If you look at the return on equity, Estrel Poly latest ROE for December 20 stood at 17.45%. Supreme Industry ROE is 26%, Phenolex ROE is 16.9% and Prince Pipe ROE is 17%. So Supreme Industry is number 1, Estrel Poly is number 2 followed with Prince Pipe and Phenolex at 4th position. All 4 companies have got good ROE. If you look at the return on capital employed, Estrel Poly latest ROCE for December 20 stood at 23.15%. Supreme Industry ROCE is 36.25%. Phenolex ROCE stood at 26.4% and Prince Pipe ROCE stood at 21.7%.
So Supreme Industry is number one in terms of ROCE. Phenolics is number two. It is followed with Estel Poly at number three and Prince Pipe at number four position. But friends, all four companies have excellent ROCE of about 20%. If you look at the latest debt to equity ratio, Estel Poly debt to equity is 0.06, which is almost debt free. Supreme Industry also has a negligible debt to equity of 0.03. Phenolix Industry also has very low debt to equity of 0.11. Prince Pipe has a debt to equity of 0.19. So all four companies are comfortably placed in terms of their debt to equity ratio. If you look at the promoter share holding, Estel Poly promoter share holding for December 20 stood at 55.74%. Supreme Industries promoter share holding stood at 48.85%. And Phenolix Industries promoter share holding stood at 52.47%. Finally, Prince Pipe promoter share holding stood at 63.25%. So all four companies have good amount of holding from promoters which shows the trust of promoter in the company. Please note that in the last two years, promoter shareholding in Estel Poly has reduced by 4.69%. Supreme Industry promoter shareholding has reduced by 1.71%. And there is no change in promoter shareholding of Phenolix Industry and Prince Pipe. If you look at the valuations, Estel Poly share is currently trading at rupees 2106 rupee at a P ratio of 113. Whereas its median P is between 60 to 70. Its PEG ratio is 4.2. That makes Estel Poly an overvalued stock at current valuation. Supreme Industry share is currently trading at Rs. 1989 at a P ratio of 39.5, whereas its median P in 3 to 5 years is 34. It means Supreme Industry is trading at fair valuation. It has a PG ratio of 3.7. Phenolix Industry is currently trading at Rs. 620 at a P ratio of 15.4, whereas its median P since IPO is 20. This signifies Phenolix is currently undervalued. It has a PEG ratio of 0.37. Prince Pipe share is currently trading at Rs. 408 at a P ratio of 29 and a PEG ratio of 0.6. That makes Prince Pipe an undervalued stock at current valuation. Overall, if we conclude in terms of market cap, Astral Poly is number one, followed with Supreme and then Phenolix and then Prince Pipe. In terms of stock return in last 5 years, Estel Poly is number 1 followed with Supreme and then Phenolix. However, Prince Pipe has given bumper return since its IPO in December 19. In terms of revenue size, Supreme is again number 1 and then Phenolix followed with Estrel and then Prince Pipe. In terms of revenue growth in last 5 years, Supreme Industry is number 1 followed with Prince Pipe and then Estrel and then Phenolix. In terms of profit size, Supreme is again number 1 followed with Phenolix, Estrel and then Prince Pipe. In terms of profit growth, Prince Pipe is number one, followed with Supreme. It is followed with Estrel and then Phenolix. So Prince Pipe is the fastest growing company in terms of profitability. In terms of latest ROE, Supreme is again number one, followed with Estrel, Prince Pipe and then Phenolix. In terms of latest ROCE, Supreme is again number one, followed with Phenolix, Estrel and then Prince Pipe. So Supreme Industry is number one in terms of profitability. Although all four companies have good profitability. If you look at the debt to equity, all four companies are comfortably positioned. Finally, in terms of valuation, Estrel is looking overvalued, Supreme is looking fairly valued and Phenolex and Prince Pipe is looking undervalued. Personally, I would like to have exposure in three out of four companies including Astral and Supreme that are the leader in the sector and Prince Pipe which is the fastest growing company in the sector. Now what would be your pick among all these four companies? Let me know in the comment box. I will see you next week with another stock comparison video. Till then, take care.